Hey everybody, welcome to Sell Me a Movie, a subcategory here on the Cavalier Studios YouTube channel where what I do as a movie enthusiast, I provide you guys my personal opinion on movies that I may have seen out in theaters or currently on streaming. Now, if you've noticed, I've done many Angel Studios films, and that's only because of the fact that I love Angel Studios, I love their message and what they're providing, as well as Hollywood, in a way, has had many stories that are either retold, rehashings, and Angel Studios provides us the opportunity to watch majority of the time based on true stories. And that's what we are here is to talk about a film that's currently out on streaming on Angel Studios' platform, which, if you are interested, the link is down to, below in the description. Uh, you don't have to be a guild member to, of course, experience many of the things on there, but it is a beneficial thing for you guys to be a guild member because your voice is what projects to have these movies actually uh, be made. Yes, your voice, your vote actually takes place and be able to provide the opportunity to say, yes, let's make this movie, and Angel Studios will go ahead and do that. Um, now, we are actually here to talk about currently a movie that's out on streaming on their platform now, and that is, of course, Surprised by Oxford. Hello there, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and children. So Surprised by Oxford is actually based on the true story. Um, it's a true story of Carolyn Weber. Now, Carolyn Weber is an individual that went from the United States over to the University of Oxford. And um, she basically describes that this story takes place in the three terms that Oxford has. Of course, that is... Uh, Michaelmas, uh, which that term is from October to December. You have Hillary, which is from January to March. And then you have Trinity from April to June. Now, like I said, this is based on a true story. Uh, Carolyn Weber is credited as one of the writers, as well as the director, Ryan Whitaker. Um, now, this film did premiere at the Heartland International Film Festival in Indianapolis, Indiana, and it was to a sold-out crowd as of Saturday, October 8th of 2022. The uh, leading actors and actresses, you do have Rose Reed, who plays Carol Drake, uh, Rory O'Connor, who plays Kent Weber, you will actually notice him or see him from the film The Third Conjuring installment, uh, as he is the individual who gets possessed and then ends up being uh, part of the exorcism. Then you do have the two supporting actresses who plays Carol's friends. You have Jordan Alexandra, who plays uh, Lena. Then you have Emma Naomi, who plays Hannah. Again, both uh, actresses partake and play as uh, Caro's friends in the film and kind of like the first positive um, I guess experience that she has there. Now we first see Caro as a young individual as a kid where she experiences that her father gets taken away by the FBI due to some um, financial scheme that he had going on and when that happens, you can kind of see a switch in Caro, um, and that switch is the feel of abandonment from her father. So what she does is she just basically dives into books, to literature, and uh, literature in the means of like, uh, not so much C.S. Lewis, that does happen in the later parts, but more of poets and more of like English literature really and that's what's fascinating about the character is because of the fact that obviously this is based on a true story, but Rose plays such a wonderful job playing an individual who's very guarded in a sense and you really get that from her performance. Um, Rory O'Connor who plays of course Kent he is the love interest yes but the love interest in this film is one that is very uh, personable. Uh, almost every guy can relate to uh, Kent in some way or some form because he's the one that's chasing Rose because he sees Rose and he sees that she's guarded throughout this experience, uh, just wanting to deep dive, but he wants to break that wall. He wants to be the individual to always be there for Caro. And it's fascinating to see the character development, development between those two individuals um, and seeing how Caro can break down her walls. Yes, um, the main point of her going to Oxford is the fact that she wants to be a literature professor. She wants to be a professor at Oxford. But the journey during her just one year, her first year there, is very driven by all of her friends, surrounding friends, but also in the end goal, what she wants to do. Um, and the the whole story basis is one that is very loving. Um, it kept me smiling throughout the whole entire uh, time that I was watching the film. And in all honesty, it is a heartfelt film too. 
Um, it's one that many individuals can, of course, not only sympathize, but also relate to, too, especially if you've been through some similar experiences. But you have, um, of course, Carol's friends who's trying to also dig and try to push her to let down her guard, let down her walls too. And it's interesting to see how supportive they are in that. Um, of course, this uh, film does play take place obviously in Oxford, so you kind of get the gloomy sense of England a little bit <clears throat> in the terms of like rainy, um, a little bit of dark. So the cinematography, I've never been to England, but I would say is spot on from what I have seen. So that's wonderfully done. Um, and the director does a really good job in getting different camera angles to be more fascinating in the sense of seeing character development too. And what I mean by that is there is a specific scene where there is both Carol and Kent at like some diner. They're, they're having desserts. And what ends up happening is uh, they're having a conversation, but then you see the switch in Carol between being all loving and being open to very guarded. And the way that the director does that is of course by the camera angle. He sweeps from one angle to the end, which is kind of like the transition that you would see in a character's face. And so there's many um, opportunity shots like that. Um, I don't want to say that there is much opportunity that could have been done with this film because in all honesty, the way that the film was done was beautifully done. It's probably one of the better Angel Studios films. You get a good quality flick, for streaming and that's one of the reasons why you know I am a I, I don't want to say a prom, I don't want to really say a promoter but that's why I want to get you guys to go to, over Angel Studios is because you have great quality movies like this over there so again please go see Surprise by Oxford for those who like Pride and Prejudice and everything this is a film for you guys so again that is streaming on Angel Studios currently if you like this review, please hit the subscribe button, like, leave a comment below if you have seen this film, and of course we'll see you guys next time for the next review. Mm -hmm.